Welcome to Surfex Systems here on the Bentec booth uh, at Productronica. Delighted to be joined by Dave Bennett. Nice Hello to see Trevor. you. Hello, Trevor. Good yeah. to see you as always. Absolutely. Um, so, explain to me. I mean, you you represent Surfex Systems here in Europe. But yes. Ex explain the structure uh, first. Well, of all. well, basically, as we do with all of our partner companies, we actually introduce it into the rep networks. Um, obviously, you know my background. I've been working with uh, setting up rep networks for nearly 30 years now. Mm. And um, it's very difficult for a company coming to Europe. They might have a very exciting product, but they don't have any contacts. You know, there's 20 odd languages they've got to deal with. Um, if the operators are going to be able to use their equipment properly, you have to have distributors. They don't know who are the best distributors and whatever. I'm fortunate that I do. Mm -hmm. So I can look at the product and aim it at the right type of customer, a specialist company, for example, selling capital equipment, a specialist yep. company doing inspection, a specialist company doing consumables, whatever it might require. Through my time doing the recruiting, I've either worked with them or I know of them, and I can then approach them with the right product to fit in. It's right. very successful, and we typically would put a rep network together sort of 80% in a couple of weeks. Right, but I mean, the other side of, being, of, of the, the sales side of that, Dave, is, is the service. Yeah, And yeah. that's becoming more and more important with people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you need to have the, the service component in behind these yes, people. Yes, yeah, we do that. I mean, we have our own demo center in the UK. We have uh, equipment in there, different, different things, different types of equipment. Our customers can come across. Even our guys in India are coming over to have some training. Mm -hmm. And so it's something that we get trained by the specialists. So we would work with the guys from Surfex. They would do the initial training for us. We would then pass that on by rep, one after the other. Um, but actually, in this, in the circumstance of Surfex, they've got a great guy, Alex Giordino, and Alex uh, has been networking with my team and my reps. Uh, you know, we we don't make a barrier between us mm -hmm. and the, and who we are launching into Europe. We very much come in as a team. So. Their technical experts are able to work directly with our engineering partners in Europe and directly with customers. There's right. no barriers, there's no walls. Right. Because if they don't trust us and we don't trust them, it's just, it's just a waste of time. Absolutely. So it's all very open and um, we really encourage the customers, the distributors, and the manufacturers to all inter interact with each other where they need advice, get it from the best people. Right, okay. So let's talk a little bit about now about the, the process yeah, and sure. the product sure, itself. Sure. I mean, um, conformal coding, uh, or sorry, is, is, is on the rise across the yeah, industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but having, having the right um, surface tension and, and adhesion for these coatings is, is critical. Yes. Uh, so. A lot of companies are turning to plasma treatment yeah. for for that uh, application. Yeah. But Surfex has a, a different approach to to plasma treatment because they're using a, a, a argon argon basically yeah. Yeah. an argon gas base. Uh, what are the advantages of, of using that system? Well, it's quite simply, Trevor. It's gentle. It doesn't cause any issues. I mean, many plasma um, companies um, they use very harsh gases. There's debris caused, which is the last thing you want if you're then going to put a coating on. Yeah. There's also um, some uh, static arcing that can occur. None of those things apply to Surfex. Surfex is gentle. It can be used in a clean room situation. Mm -hmm. it, it gives off no toxics. It's absolutely soft, gentle technology, but incredible cleaning power. So if you clean uh, say a, a bare board before mm -hmm. population mm -hmm. yeah. to make sure that the adhesion is going to be perfect then your paste will be um, down better than, than, than you could do if you hadn't cleaned it of course because of greases and dirts and contaminants mm -hmm. all of that would have been removed you then put your paste down on a perfect surface you then put your components onto perfect paste yeah. when everything's good you then want to conformally coat it of course, there's a whole array of issues that currently exist in conformal coating. Mm -hmm. Bubbles, cracks, orange peel, venting, all sorts of things. Nearly all of those could be tracked back to the fact that it wasn't clean. Yes, yes. I, I, it's, it's always been something that uh, I've never quite understood. I mean, the, up until a couple of years ago, the, the, the numbers were 80% of people didn't clean before they coated. I know. I know. I know. It doesn't I, make any sense. Well, one of the things that scares a lot of people, especially when you go, if, if, we, if we look at the older plasma technologies, many companies have tried it and they're very frightened of the, of the, ESD, uh, sorry, of the ESD issues of static 
discharge because you're getting ill. I mean, you can act, we actually have in our presentations uh, videos showing competitive plasmas, and you can see the arcing on, on the board. Right, right. Now, obviously, that's nowhere near um, the type of thing that a customer who's just built a very expensive board, mm. before he's going to sure conformly that. coat it, yeah. the last thing he wants to do is have electrical arcing, which could cause problems to his components, could probably fry some of the small stuff. Yeah. There's nothing like that with, with a Surfex. Mm -hmm. It's totally gentle, does nothing at all to any of the components. There's no uh, ESD sparking or anything mm -hmm. like that. Very gentle. They have a blade about so big, mm -hmm. and the blade makes it very quick so it can keep up with inline processes. Mm -hmm. That's something that's very attractive because most other people have only got like a finger point. Uh, like to, a um, point. Pull. Yeah, like now, uh, Surfex also offer that for detail if you don't want to be covering the whole Yeah, because they originally reason. come from, really from the semiconductor yeah, end yeah, of the business. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, yeah. they must be used to, to accuracy and that type yeah. of thing. Well, they, they, they can adapt. It's such an adaptable product that it can be fixed on, for example, robotic arms. Mm -hmm. They have the, the machine itself. They have a machine made for the uh, inline processes, obviously aimed at SMT and things like that. You can put it inside an existing printer, for example. You mm -hmm. can put it inside a placement machine. You can put it inside anything. It is very clever how they've done it. They've made it modular. Mm -hmm. So if, if a manufacturer says, I'd like to be able to do a plasma um, clean on the circuit board before I paste it, mm -hmm. I don't want another machine. I want it inside my machine. Surfax are like, fine, yeah, you can have that. That's not a problem. And so they'll integrate you, it. So you're saying that they can put this inside a printer? Yeah, you put it inside a printer. Pick and put it inside a placement machine. There are already companies. I'm not going to mention them. Oh. There are already companies in our industry doing it. Wow. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's interesting. So, yeah, very I mean, it, it could be anything. I mean, there might mm. be some process that you and I haven't seen yet, Trev, where mm. uh, cleanliness is absolutely vital, and they have a machine that does something, but they need to work on clean boards. So they're probably relying on an outside machine to do plasma cleaning or some other type of cleaning. Mm -hmm. Then it goes into their machine, they do whatever they're going to do, and off it goes. Now, for a company like that, they could come to Surfex and say, can you integrate into my machine? Yeah. And, it, and they have a, it, it's literally a modular system. It all clips together, right. there you go, it's integrated. Right. Oh, so nice. clever, really yeah, clever. Very clever, very clever. Great. Oh, well, one other thing, sorry, uh -huh. one other thing. They're not only doing like semiconductor and SMT, one of the things they're working on are like catheters and, uh, and whatever. All right, they've so they're working in the medical Yes, uh, yeah, they've actually made a, a system that will, they have the long catheter tubes in, in their production process, mm -hmm. and they're actually coming down with um, Surfax plasma cleaners to make sure that they're all clean, because obviously they need to be clean as well. Right, right. And, and it's all clean room um, quality. As I said, the main reason is you don't have to have any issues with anything being sparked off the board, any type of debris and whatever. Yes, it's a pretty benign gas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, some, if you look at some of the nozzles, you know, from existing plasma cleaners, because they are sparking, they're, they, act, they actually get bigger. Yes. So they wear. Mm -hmm. So because they've worn, they have to be replaced. Mm -hmm. But there's a fundamental question. Where did the bits go? Yeah, it's true. So it's if true. the hole's getting bigger. Yeah, yeah, that is debris. That, is that, that, that can where's that debris gone? Yeah, debris is going somewhere. Yeah, and there's nothing sure. like that on a um, on a on a Surfex. And if if the customer wants detail with a finger, mm -hmm. then we have that. Yeah. If they want to have a little robot moving a unit, they can have a robot doing it. They can buy a complete machine. Mm -hmm. They can buy a modular system. So it's it's pretty, pretty much versatile. Covered. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great. Well, there's, I've learned some things today. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I want to thank you for um, uh, talking to us and running us through the Surfex system. It's an absolute pleasure, Trevor, and thank you for coming. Okay.